In this tech tip video, inspecting and correcting turbocharger heat shield orientation on Rotax 915 ISA and ISB series aircraft engines. A recently released service bulletin points out that some turbochargers have been found with wastegate regulator heat shields incorrectly oriented. Although not affecting function or performance, the wastegate regulator may be exposed to more radiant heat from the turbocharger and exhaust system. This particular heat shield is correctly oriented. If the heat shield is found in any other orientation, it must be removed and corrected. Begin by removing the locking clip, washer, and rod end from the wastegate lever. Remove the bushing and set these aside. Remove the two M6 nuts and washers and pull the wastegate regulator assembly out just enough to rotate the heat shield. With the two regulator studs and the X pattern of the heat shield, four orientations are possible. Rotate the heat shield so that it's oriented towards the turbocharger exhaust turbine inlet and fit the regulator assembly back into place. Fit the two washers and nuts using Loctite 243 and tighten to 24 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. Using a small amount of high temperature anti seize, place the bushing over the wastegate shaft with the wider collar facing upwards. Then slide over the wastegate arm and washer and fit the locking clip in place. Perform an engine test run, checking for proper turbo actuation. Make a logbook entry stating compliance with the service bulletin and return the aircraft to service. Affected engines must have their turbocharger heat shield inspected and if necessary corrected at the next maintenance event or within 25 engine hours of the service bulletin's release, whichever comes first. Uninstalled engines and spare parts turbocharger assemblies must be inspected and corrected before installation. Thanks for watching this tech tip. You can find more videos like this on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax.